But what you can do is you can put in these custom values and they're all formatted with the same format. You do these two brackets and then you give it a name and then you do the close brackets just like this, right? So you see it in all, especially in the real estate templates. And this allows you to customize things, but keep it templatized. Yeah, thanks, Jacob. Uh, just kind of uh, getting ready to launch my first real campaign. Been playing around with it here for a little bit. And uh, like what I see, of course. And just kind of wondering, you know, I'm going to be launching a real estate ad. So I know there's lots of, you know, restrictions in Facebook for that. And I've, you know, run lots of ads before through the ad manager. So just kind of wanted to, you know, hear your thoughts on using a template. And then once I launch with a template, uh, the, I would obviously edit, but then, um, you know, are you able to make the same changes from within Upex that you can in Ads Manager and all that sort of thing? Um, so we're actually, so yes, you can. Um, and we'll I'll kind of work backwards through your question here. Yes, you can. And we're actually working on some features that will roll out um, where you'll be able to um, edit campaigns a lot more easily in Upex and have those push out to, uh, to uh, to Facebook. Right now, the way it works in Upex is you would just relaunch the template. Um, so when you update the template, you turn off the old campaign, you, you'd launch a new one. Um, the reason why that's not, and since you've run Facebook ads, you already know this, when you make changes inside of Facebook, anytime you make a major change, which is, I mean, it, a major change to Facebook is you change the budget even, um, significantly at least. So there's, Every, almost every change you make will will be a significant edit to Facebook as far as it's concerned. It resets all the learning anyways, right? So you're not doing yourself any favors outside of if this campaign has a lot of like uh, comments and likes and loves and all that kind of stuff on the ad. You're not really doing yourself much of a favor by keeping the old campaign. So right now what we recommend doing is you just pause the old campaign you launch a new one and then you kind of let Facebook uh, do its thing with the changes that you made. We are working though, where you'll be able to open up the ad, uh, change, uh, make the changes directly to the ad and it'll push out those updates to Facebook. And then we're also looking and we're also building a bulk updater as well to where when you make a change to the template, it'll actually, when you click save, it'll pull up a screen that'll say, here's all your clients running this template. Do you want to push these updates out to these clients? Then you can check which ones you want it to go out to, and then it'll push the update out to them as well. Um, so those features are coming. They're in the works with the developers. Um, but right now, the process is just turn off the campaign and, and launch a new one. Um, going back to with real estate, it does have those restrictions. Upex does have where you can declare the housing category, um, and then it'll do the restrictions, right, where it's 15 um, mile radius for, uh, for US-based housing. Uh, as a minimum, takes away all the targeting stuff that you're not allowed to do and all that kind of thing. Um, so that'll all be taken care of for you inside of Upex. Now, one of the things that you may want to consider doing too, and you kind of see this when you look in our uh, templates for um, housing, where that's home insurance. Oh, it's real estate. That's why. So we go into some real estate templates, right? And if I go in and I look at maybe this art deco stuff. So one of the things that you'll notice in our templates is we utilize custom values. Now these aren't custom values that are connected to go high level. Uh, go high level right now doesn't have a connection right now where you can make those two talk to each other. Hopefully one day we'll get one and then, then they will talk to each other. So whatever custom values you put in high level will also sync up with, with Upex, but right now they're, they're separate. But what you can do is you can put in these custom values and they're all formatted with the same format. You do these two brackets and then you give it a name and then you do the close brackets just like this, right? So you see it in all, especially in the real estate templates. And this allows you to customize things, but keep it templatized, right? So looking for a luxurious beach home, look no further than this beautiful, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, right? You just punch in the number. Uh, and when your client launches this campaign, Right, so let me show you what that would look like here. Let's do, I'm just gonna show you here on the back end because it's a little bit easier for me. So when a client is launching this on the back end, those custom values they'll just fill out, right? So this beautiful four bedroom, two bathroom house, and you know I'm part of the Keller Williams group, right? 
So it's then going to auto fill those in when they launch the campaign so they can get everything customized to that house and then be able to uh, uh, still templatize things. The other thing that you're able to do too, so typically with real estate, um, you guys usually have professional pictures taken. You usually have a photographer come, they take really nice pictures. So what you're able to do is you can actually upload um, your own media into for that client. So then they can, um, you know, they can upload their own house pictures and stuff and then use those pictures for the campaign. Um, when they're launching it inside of the Go High Level plugin, there won't be all these clicking around. This is just because the back end, you have a little bit more capability. But uh, when they're launching it through the Go High Level plugin, they'll literally just upload them right there inside the plugin. And those will be the pictures that will use. So that way you'll be able to use the pictures of that actual house um, that you also then have the templated ad copy for. So it really allows you to do that um, pretty quickly and be able to launch things uh, uh, for, for multiple clients. And so what I would just recommend um, when you're doing your real estate templates is just really utilize those uh, custom values. So I think like, I'm trying to think we've got, I know we've got a couple in here that use it a ton, right? Yeah, because like this one, it's a two-story house, right? So you have a number of bedrooms within, how many of them are upstairs? How many of them are downstairs, right? We've got some that'll say, uh, you know, what's special about the kitchen? And then you just fill in those information. So then that way the bulk of the copy is written and you're just plugging in the pieces that you need to. So does that, does that answer your and question? Jacob, as soon as you, yeah, Jacob, as soon as you enter in that custom value there, uh, number of bedrooms, just by putting the double brackets in there, does that then create a field for the template? Correct. You know, yep. You should, okay. So it's not a second step that you have to create a form for. Nope. It'll create the field automatically. And then any template that requires custom values to be answered, when they go to launch the campaign, it'll ask for those those values. Yeah, that's great. Will it now? What if they don't <clears throat> put anything in there? Is it, uh, it won't let them launch the campaign. Required? They yeah, they're all required. Okay. So they would have to, so they can still edit the body of the text though. If they're like, we don't want to put that in there. Correct. Yeah. So if for, let me pull, I can pull this up here real fast so you can kind of see. Um, so on the Go High Level plugin that we have for you guys, let me just pull this up here. If you go into the, when you're launching a campaign, right, I'll just throw this on here. So this is what it looks like inside of Go High Level. So if they click on optional info, they can actually see the ad text. And then they could just, I mean, if they are really, really like, nope, I don't want any of this crap, they can put in their own. Um, and then it'll launch uh, with whatever they put inside here. So they have the ability to either do the custom value or, and this is why we kind of buried it under optional infos. We want you guys as agency owners to be in control. We don't want you to, to have your clients make too many changes on their own because then you can't. To go back to Andrew's uh, question, how do I know that this works? Well, it's because you've got multiple people running the same template. If you let people change too much, well, now you don't know what's working and what's not working. So that's why we buried stuff like this under optional info. And I would recommend you only tell your clients about this if they're really just like, no, I want to blah, 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 right? They're just a pain in the butt. Then you can tell them, okay, well, here's what you got to do. You go to optional info, you go to add text, you can rewrite the whole thing if you want to, and then launch the campaign, right? right. Um, so you, you do have that option. Mm -hmm.